Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I would like to show you Parky. Parky turns any web page into a desktop application with ease. Check this out. Let's say I want a portable version of this website that I can install on any PC as an application. I would simply open Parky, run it and point it to the selected URL. Allow Parky to do its magic. It will output a full installer when complete. You can go ahead and install this application on your computer. When we launch this app, you'll see we have a working version of the selected website installed on our computer. And this can now be utilized for your use case as needed. Let's dive into setting up Parky on your local computer. First, we need to download and install the required software. Visit anaconda.com and download Anaconda. You will also need Visual Studio Community Edition. Head over to their website and download a copy. Install Visual Studio. This step is super important. When the installer launches, make sure you select Desktop Development with C++, then select, if not selected, MSVC V143, and also select the Windows 10 SDK, 10.0.19041.0. Make sure these two options are selected. Then continue and install Visual Studio on the computer. This might take some time to complete. Now we can install Anaconda. You can install Anaconda and proceed with all the defaults. This will take a bit of time to install. And when the installation completes, just close the installer. We can now open an Anaconda prompt and start building Parky. Click here on your Windows search bar. Type in Anaconda Prompt. Then click to open a new Anaconda Prompt. Create a folder on your drive for Parky. Parky will store its applications produced in this folder. Type cd backslash to get back to the root of the current system drive. Execute make the space Parky. This will create a folder called Parky. Now make sure you navigate into this new folder. Execute cd space parky. Let's create a conda environment to ring fence parky and its required software into. Execute conda space create space dash n space parky. When the environment is created, make sure you activate this new environment. Execute conda space activate space parky. Make sure the new environment activates. It should change here from base to parky. The first thing we want to install in this environment is git. Execute conda space install space git and make sure git installs without any issues. Parky requires Node.js and Rust to function. Let's install Node first into this environment. Execute conda space install space conda dash forge colon colon node.js Execute this, let node install and next we can move on to the installation of Rust. To install Rust, execute conda space install space conda dash forge colon colon Rust. Let the Rust install complete and you should now have all the required software we need. So we can now move along to installing Parky. Execute npm space install space parky dash cli space dash g. Give this a bit of time to complete and when the installer wraps up you should be presented to a screen similar to mine. We are now ready to run Parky for the first time. I will use this site shown in the intro again as my first test site. Let's copy this site's URL. From our Anaconda prompt, execute Parky, followed by the URL of the site. Enter to submit this command. The system will next ask you what to call this application that it will produce. Give your app a name. And then this first run will take some time to complete as the system builds and configures some final components. And if all goes well, you'll end up with a screen confirming a successful run and with the installer placed in your Parky folder. Go to this folder. Install your new application into Windows as normal. 
When the installer completes, you can directly launch your new application. And there you have it, a fully functional application version of ScrapeThisSite.com. As you can see, everything works as expected. We are able to navigate the original site and all areas seem to be working. You should now have a working version of Parky. Should you want to study this project further and delve into more advanced features and command line options, you can visit the official Project GitHub page. Make sure to check out the README file as well. This explains all the command line options in detail. And also take note of this little handy table, allowing you to navigate your web application directly from keyboard shortcuts. Just a final tip, if you ever reboot the machine and you want to launch this app again, simply open an Anaconda prompt, navigate back to your Parky folder, execute conda space activate space parky and then simply launch the app by running the parky command. I hope you have your parky up and running at this stage. If that is the case, remember to give this video a like or even better, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and looking forward to seeing you in the next one.